So welcome back guys, it's Casey Cohen Playground here. Today we'll be doing another video on our channel. So we'll be working on a Catching the Apples game with the piano sound, of course. So, um, so what, so like when you play it? So, uh, you have five lives, and if you don't catch any apples, and then you'll lose all your lives and it'll be game over. And, um, so the tune is supposed to be, um, Jingle Bells. It's like jingle bells. So I'll just let you guys see it. Okay, yeah, so we just added a little um, sound right here. It's like it'll play jingle bells. Um, and for each apple you touch, you will get um, one point, and it will play the sound corresponding to the note. So if you guys play any instrument, you will know what these notes are. <clears throat> so we got this idea my cousin so our cousin made a similar game but um his is a little different because it doesn't play a specific sound okay so this is our cousin's game <clears throat> he's not using the sound from the he's not using the sounds from the scratch but he's using pre-recorded tunes so if you like let's say if you guys don't have a piano then this would not work so using the sounds and you can use, just use the sounds in the sprite library in the library. Okay, so now we have our new project. So we just started a new project. Let's rename it to um, catch the apple. The apple with piano. I don't know. You guys can name it whatever you want. We can name it like this. And then we're gonna delete the scratch cat. We will not need that. And let me make it new backdrop. Okay, now let's import some sprites into here. So we already have the apple sprite, which is basically just the apple from the scratch library, and we just put A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in in any instrument, um, the notes are denoted as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up to G. So I just uh, changed the colors and added the letter of each one into here and changed the color and renamed each one. So yeah, so this is the sprite. On the apple so next we have to get the bowl so this is the bowl it's for like catching the apples bowl and use that okay and we need a backdrop we gotta get the blue sky blue sky this one okay so for the bowl we're gonna start coding in here first <clears throat> so we have to code the movement let's get a one green flag clicked I'm zoom in gonna go to let's go to zero negative 135 so this is a position I used it's like somewhere down here and then we're gonna set the rotation style to left and right so then the bulb will not flip over when it's moving around okay and then we're gonna get a forever loop and then we're gonna set the X to the mouse X so it will follow the mouse on the X axis so like that, and then if on edge bounce, so then the bowl cannot go off the screen. So after this, you want to get an if then statement. So this is for detecting the score. So I I made it go up to a hundred for for testing purposes. We're only gonna do up to thirty. So you need like um thirty score to win. So this is just to detect um the score. We'll use that later. So we're gonna make a variable. Let's name it score. Okay, score, and then we're gonna do if score is greater than um uh, let's say 30 or equal to 30 then we can um then we will broadcast a message okay so now let's make a new message so we're going to broadcast a message if the score is greater than 30 or equal to 30 then we're going to Right, you win. So you win. Okay, and then have one thing here. So this is for the Jingle Bell song. So this is uh, all the notes for the Jingle Bell song. So what I did was I made a list called Jingle Bell song. And after that, I also made a new custom block in Jingle Bells. So these two. And then I, <clears throat> I had to manually write out each letter of the whole song. So, if you didn't know, this is the 
letter in order. You can pause the video and put it down if you want. Okay, so now we're gonna have to put this all into the Apple Sprite. Okay, let's delete the Sprite. And then now we have the Apple Sprite. We duplicated all this code into the Apple. So now in the Apple, we're going to code here. So this is the, the uh, stuff you need, the notes. <clears throat> so after this, we're gonna get one green flag clicked. And then we're going to get, let me zoom in. And we're gonna I'll play the jingle bell thing. So that. So run this custom block. And then we're gonna hide with the apple in the beginning. And we're gonna set the score to zero. Score to zero. And then we're gonna set the lives to five. I mean you guys can do any. So we're gonna make a new variable in lives. You guys can set how many lives you want, but I'm just gonna do five for now. Let's do five. And then we're gonna make a new variable. Let's name it song index. Song index. So with song song index, this is just to detect the the jingle bell song. So we'll use this later. I'll show you guys how to use it. And then we're gonna set. Why do I have two of these? I'll take out one of them. We only need set score to zero, set lives, and then song index to zero. And then I can set the size to the apple to so seventy five percent in the beginning just to be a little bit smaller and forever forever loop forever create a clone of myself so we're going to create a clone of the apple and wait 0 0.5 seconds so this is creating clones of the apple okay and then after that we're going to when i start as a clone okay and one last thing i forgot to mention is you can make any song you want. I'm just doing jingle bells because I've already um, we've already done it for another video. So in the Santa decorating um, project, we already used it, so we're just gonna use it again. So yeah, now when I start as a clone, it's gonna when I start as a clone. Okay, when I start as a clone, if the song index is greater than jingle bells, so the whole list of the jingle bells are here. The length of it is 75. I mean 25. And, um, so the length of the list is 25. So, so the length is 25. So if, we're going to get an if else statement. If the song index is greater than the length of this list. So this is to detect, uh, so if the song index is greater than the length, then it'll restart it again. And if it's not, it'll continue playing it. So we're going to get a song index. If the song index is greater than the jingle bell, um, not this one, um, length of the song, the jingle bell song, then we're gonna set the song index to one, so we'll go back to the beginning, and else we'll change it up by one, so it will keep on going down the list on which, which, um, yeah, I'll get the next note to play. So song index by one. And then we're gonna switch the costume corresponding to which note it is. So switch costume to item. So in here we have the item. Item song index of the jingle bells list. And then we're gonna show. Okay. And then we're gonna make it go to a uh, pick random area in the beginning, so we're gonna make it go to pick random negative 210 to 210. So if you've ever played this game called uh, Piano Tiles, this game is kind of like it. It's kind of like the same thing. And we're gonna get a forever loop. And then change Y by negative 5. So it'll keep on going down. Change Y by negative 5. And after that, we're going to get if then. If, so if it's touching the brown, we're going to, like, make it lose a life. And let the player lose a life. So if touching color. Touching color. Brown. We're going to use a select tool. Select this brown color. And we're going to broadcast a message called lose a life. Lose a life. Oops. Oh, uh, like.
So, lose a life. And then we're gonna delete this clone. If it's touching the brown. And then right now, we're gonna do the playing the notes. So, um, we noticed something when we were doing this. If you put the play note inside the in, if then statement, it'll have a little pause because it has to play the note. So we're gonna use broadcast messages so it won't get stuck. So we're gonna get an if then statement, put that right under here. So if it's touching the bowl, the apple, touching the bowl, bowl, and put another if, like if the costume name is equal to A. So I named all my costumes corresponding to what. Um, Note it is so if the costume number is equal to A, as you can see right here, I named them A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if the costume number is A, which is the first costume, then we're going to broadcast A. Broadcast A. A. Okay. I'm going to just duplicate this. If the costume number is equal to B, I mean, not costume number, name. We have to change it to name. Okay, so to change it, just click the little triangle and become name. So costume name or number, if you would like. You can just number it instead. So instead of, if you were to do number, if costume number is equal to one, then we're going to broadcast A. But I just named it so it's easier to understand. And then so if the costume number is equal to B, then we're going to broadcast B. And then duplicate this. Do it all the way up until G. So if costume name is equal to C, then we're going to broadcast C. Just keep on doing this. Costume number is D. Name, I mean name, is equal to D. Then we're going to make a new one called D. And then just copy all this, duplicate, put it under here. Costume name is equal to E, then we'll broadcast E. And then if costume name is equal to F, then broadcast F. And finally, if costume name is equal to G, then broadcast G. So then we won't need the last one right here, so we'll just take this out. Okay. And now we have all, all this A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then one last part is to change the score by one. So when it's touching it, it'll change the score by one. Change score by one and delete this clone. Delete it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Show you guys how it's like. So this is the code for the thing. And now we're gonna have to broadcast all the messages for it to make some sound. Okay. So now we're going to go back in. And when I receive A, we're just gonna have to do this a lot. It's a bit tedious. So to get this music extension, you click here. And there should be a music right here, so you just click this thing, and you'll get all of this. So we're going to play the note um, A, so A is this one. If you guys play piano, then you'll know. So, one, two, three, four, five, okay, this is A. So I play piano, so I know this is A. This is A. And if you want it to be, and then the B. And also, if you want it to be lower or higher, you can do this notes right here but I just keep it right here so B just in the middle area of the piano so in B I'm gonna play B play this B 71 for 0 0.5 beats duplicate again so in C uh, we're gonna play middle C this one and then D we're going to play this one and E. You're going to play this one and then F. You'll play this one. And then finally, we got G. So, I will not, if you guys don't play piano, I won't tell you guys what the numbers are so then you guys can copy it down easier. So, 67 right here. Okay, so I'll do it. Okay, so the first one's 69, second one's 71, third one is 60, D is 62, E is 64, F is 65, and G is 67. Okay, now we can try it out. Okay, let's try it out now. Let's play. Let me hide the list. Okay, let me hide song index as well. 
Save it. So as you can see, it's playing out the Jingle Bell song. It might sound a little off tune because this is Scratch and it's not like real life. You can't play each note for a certain amount of length. So it kind of sounds like Jingle Bells. Not completely, but like, um, I think it should do. Okay. So it looks like we are finished with this. We can go to the bowl. So in the bowl, we have to add one more script. And right here in the apple, we broadcast lose a life for here when it's touching the brown color. So we're going to have to receive it. So when I receive the lose a life, then I will change the lives by negative one. And I will do this if lives is equal to zero lives is equal to zero then we can broadcast game over signifying that the player has lost game over so game over so we're going to make a new sprite let's paint a new sprite so we're going to use the text so for the text we are going to write one for you win and one for you lose. So usually for winning, I usually do green. And losing, I usually do uh, red. So you win. So you win. Can make this bigger. Right here. And then for the you lose, just copy paste this. And we can just do this. You lose. And then make this red. So we're going to make this red, and then we're going to just drag this to the center. Center all your sprites, remember that. So now we have the two, you win and you lose. So now we're going to code for that. When green flag clicks, we want to go to zero, zero with the sprite. And then hide. And after that, when I receive um, game over, so right here in the apple, um, we have the, you lose, lose a life right here. So it broadcasts to the bowl. And then right here, we have the lose a life. If lives are equal to zero, then we broadcast game over. And right here, we have the, you win. If the score is greater than or equal to 30. For testing purposes, we're going to keep it at 30. So next, we are going to switch costume to costume one, which is, uh, I mean, uh, so if you win, then we switch the costume to costume one, which is winning. And then we're gonna go to the front layer and stop all. Like this, and show, I forgot the show. Put the show before the stop all. And then duplicate this. When you lose, game over. Then we're gonna switch costume to costume two, which is the losing one. And we'll go to front layer, show, and stop all. So we're going to play it. So I'm going to lose first. So, so as you can see, when you get less than that, then you lose. So when you get more than 30 score, then you win. So as you can see, we got 30 score, and we win. So yeah, that's it for this video. And before we end the video, we would like to uh, tell you one more thing. If you do not like the apple, you can just make it a piano key or something like that. And then um, our song, Jingle Bells, is only a section of the song. So if you would like to make it even longer, you may. And um, you can play whatever song you would like, like I said earlier. So yeah, please like share and subscribe and ring the notification bell and we'll see you in the next tutorial